everybody I've been getting a lot of requests to do a follow-up to the circle skirt tutorial that I've done I've done two different circle skirt tutorials and I've done a quarter circle skirt and I've done a double full circle skirt um, tutorial so check those out if you aren't familiar with those but I've been getting a lot of questions and request to do a follow-up to make a longer version of the circle skirt what many people find and it's absolutely true is that when you lay your fabric out how you normally do with the fold facing you and the selvages meeting up top with your uh, right sides facing what happens is that when you draft out your circle skirt here you are limited by the width of the folded fabric so you really can only get as much length out of that skirt as the width of your fabric will allow I'm going to show you how to fold your fabric so that you can get a maxi or a long version of this skirt. So I'm going to unfold my fabric all the way out and then I'm going to fold it with my fold over here and I'm going to scooch my fabric down and I'm going to just continue folding. So when you finish folding your fabric you should have a fold on this side and you should have uh, selvages here and here so my table is not long enough to accommodate the unfolded width of my fabric so if you would like to do this on your floor you are more than welcome to because if you want a longer version it's best that you don't go moving your fabric around too much, but I just want to show you how to lay out your fabric to get that longer version of a circle skirt. And so I'm just still adjusting my fabric. And this is gonna, again, if you have more fabric than I do, this is gonna take you longer. I think I'm working with about, about three and a half yards of fabric here. Okay. So I have selvages here. I have selvages hanging off the table and my fold is here. I only have one fold and it's here. If yours doesn't look like that, then I want you to unfold your fabric and try it over. So now that you've got your fabric all folded out, what you can do is turn your fabric to where the fold is facing you. Okay, now we've got our fabric folded and turned the proper way. Again, your fold should be facing you. Your selvages should be along these ends and your fabric should be nice and smooth. So I've already calculated the waist radius that I'm gonna use for my skirt. If you are not familiar with calculating your waist radius, I have already done two circle skirt tutorials where I teach you two different methods on how to do that. I will make sure to link those on the screen and I will link them in the description box. Please check there watch those tutorials because I show you at the beginning of both of those tutorials two different methods on how to calculate your waist radius so I'm not going to go over that with you again since I've already done it twice I'm just going to go ahead and start marking out my fabric with the waist radius so now that I've got my waist radius marked out I have all of this fabric all of this length to play with part is that I'm able to get a much longer length for my skirt because of the way that we folded our fabric so I have all of this space from the edge of my waist radius that I've just marked with chalk all the way to the hem or to the bottom of this fabric minus my selvage because I'm gonna cut that off and then I've got all of this length here to uh, draft my skirt that length so I'm gonna get a much longer skirt if you are going to be drafting like the double uh, circle skirt tutorial uh, that I've linked in the description box. If you want to do four panels of really of a maxi length, you're going to be using a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fabric. So I would suggest that you fold out your fabric and mark off your waist radius and the hem of all of your panels that you want with chalk first. You don't want to ruin that fabric and cut it too soon and find out that you don't have enough or use a permanent marking tool that will just mess up your fabric so lay out your fabric the way that I've just shown you mark off your waist radius mark measure how long you want your skirt 
hem it out do that for all of the panels that you want to do first before you get started so i'm going to continue on measuring out the length of my skirt And so you see my tape is, is getting to where it's hanging off. So that's why I say it's really good to do this on the floor. Unless you have a very wide cutting, uh, cutting surface. So I'm going to connect the lines that I do have. And then I'm going to scooch my fabric down. But I'm keeping my waist radius that I marked on the table because I need this as a reference point to measure out my hem. So I'm just moving it down just enough to make another couple of marks. So now I've got my panel all cut out and I'm simply going to cut out my waistband and install my zipper and let my skirt hang and I'm done. So again, I'm not going to show all of this on camera this time because I've already done this twice. So check out those other videos and for more details.